Dear children, welcome back to Harvest Kids Online. I hope you enjoyed your week. I hope you remember last time what we learned. We were supposed to do very many things. Ask your neighbor if they did what we were told to do. Ask your friend if they remember. I remember it was something about telling others what you have learned. So make sure that someone knows what you learned last week. If they weren't around, you can tell them now, 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 now. It's not too late. Tell your neighbor, tell your friend, tell the teacher what you learned. Tell them everything that you enjoyed last time. Okay. So, before we get into the word and get into praise and worship, let us first pray. Hands together, eyes closed. Dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you for everything that we are going to learn. We pray that our hearts may be open and we may understand each and everything. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Open our eyes to see the need. Open our ears to hear the cry. The broken heart, the wounded soul. You're calling us. We will go. We will be. 
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please share with a friend or subscribe to our channel so that we can make more fun dance videos. Bye! Welcome back from Praise and Worship. I hope you danced here who are dancing, competing. I think I won. I must be the one who won because my legs know how to dance. So, last time we learned about telling others what we have learned. We learned about Paul, who had a disciple called Timothy. Yes, you're right. He had a disciple called Timothy, and he told Timothy to go and teach others what he had learned. And that's what you were supposed to do. That means at school, at home, in the neighborhood, at church, everyone you met, you were supposed to tell them what you have learned in that week or from that lesson. So our memory verse today is the same as last week. It's 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. It says, And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Let's read it one more time. So you're going to read it with me. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Yes, I know you've gotten the verse. It's in your head. It's in your brain. So we remember that we're supposed to teach others what we have learned. That means you must first learn something before teaching someone else. So here is an example. Can I give you a story? Do you want to hear stories? Hey, once upon a time, 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 there was this boy. So imagine you are the boy. Just close your eyes and imagine you are the boy or you're the girl. And it's your birthday and you're 12 years old. And then you get home and there's this big birthday party and Apostle Moses is there and Pastor B3 is there and Pastor Angela is there and everyone who you love so much is there. And then you decide and then you see a very big cake. It's so big it can fit on a bed. Then you cut it and it's time to share the cake. Because on birthdays we usually share. I don't expect people to eat their cake alone. So when you cut that cake, you put, it, you put it on a plate and cut into smaller pieces. And then you start to give it out. So as the birthday boy or birthday girl, you'll hold the plate and then call three, maybe three or five of your friends and hand them each one plate with so many pieces. And then tell your friends, help me give out this cake to everyone who has come. Of course, they'll first give Apostle Mose, then they'll give Pastor Ari, and then they give the pastors and your mommy and daddy and your friends and everyone else. But imagine your friend gets a plate of cake and then he just hides it under the table. How would you feel? You wouldn't feel good, you'll feel disturbed, you'll feel angry. Or imagine you're attending someone's birthday and the cake never reaches you. You would feel so sad. I would cry personally because I love cake. I cannot live without cake. So whenever you receive something that's so good, you're supposed to share with others. So when you have the cake and you want to hide it under your table, your friends will never taste that cake. Everyone will be hungry and annoyed. Everyone will complain and will be unhappy. But if you get that plate and share with others, everyone will have a peace. People will compliment, they'll wish you a happy birthday, they'll enjoy the cake so much, they'll bring you more gifts next time, they'll bring you a bigger cake and bigger things. Why? Because you've decided to share what you have. And besides, if you're going to hide the whole plate of cake, you can't finish it alone. And if you keep it for long, it's going to get spoiled. It won't be useful anymore. So the best thing to do is to give the cake that is there for the birthday. So the birthday cake is supposed to be shared with everyone. The same thing applies to what we learn in church or in Harvest Kids or wherever you go and you learn something from the Bible. You're supposed to share what you learn so that it can be useful to others and to everyone. Remember one time we learned a lesson and it was from John in a certain chapter and a certain verse. 
and it was talking about Jesus asking Peter if he really loved him. And Peter said, yes, I love you, Jesus. What did Jesus tell him? Feed my flock. And he said it three times. So if you're not feeding Jesus' flock, who are your friends, your neighbors, all the people you know, all the, all the people you see around you, that means you don't love Jesus. But I know you love Jesus. And I love Jesus too. And everyone here loves Jesus. So we are going to go out and feed his flock by sharing everything that we have learned and telling those people to share with their friends. I hope you've learned something. I hope you're ready to share. I hope you're ready to enjoy and go out and preach the gospel to others because they are waiting for it. And you may be here today and this is the first time that you're hearing about Jesus. And you're so shocked. You're like, what is happening? What are these people doing? But today I want to give you the opportunity to become born again. To become born again is simply trusting Jesus with your life and trusting him with your spirit to be renewed so that you're counted as a child of God in the name of Jesus. Because he died for you. So if you want to become born again, you just have to repeat these words after me. Say, dear Jesus, today I receive you in my heart to change me and transform me into your child. From today, I am born again. Take my life and do something wonderful with it. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So you're now born again. Go and tell your friends I'm born again. Go tell your go and tell the pastor. Tell everyone. Because you should be very excited to share what you have learned. There's a number at the bottom of your screen. So if there's an adult near you, if you're with your parent or teacher, they can call that number right now and someone will answer and will let you know how to join an MC, how to come to church, so that you can be part of a community and a family. Thank you for coming for Harvest Kids Online. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying Christmas and preparing for Christmas. Bye-bye.